banner that you can have. There are 16 banners. I'm going to show you how, to, how you would make them. Ooh. In um, survival, you actually trade the cartographer for them. There might be another villager that trades banners. The guy that works on the loom, who is that? The shepherd, or is he called a yeah, shepherd? Yeah, he might. I think there are a couple of different guys. weaver. But I don't know. I'll look. Um, but there are these 16 colors. And those are the 16 Minecraft colors. You also are going to need dye. And there are the equivalent number of dyes. One for each of those colors. So, if you will pick a workstation, um, mine, of course, has... I, I went ahead and gave myself a double-sized chest, and I put more stuff in it. But you have a workstation that has some banners, some dyes, some other stuff. You have a work table. I don't know, what do you call them? Crafting table and a loom. The loom is um, where you're actually going to do most of your work. And in survival, the loom is... Who has the loom? The shepherd? That's what I was looking for. I yeah. believe it's either that know. or the Weaver. Well, if there's somebody called Weaver, then that probably is. I'll find it. I know I'll find um, it. You trade the cartographer for some banners, and you also can trade him for the charge that's called World, and then you can make those banners in the loom. Um, but okay, Maniac is the one you asked for, or Main Cakes, I guess is her name. <laughs> <laughs> Maniac, I like that. We know her by so many names. She's the one who asked for more information on banners. So um, I did the research and she's just going to have to watch the video later. She can. She's so not with first, us. The first thing that you do to make a banner, and I gave you all the banners that you need, but to make a banner, you would use your um, crafting table, put a stick in the bottom center, and then the top two rows filled with wool that you got from a dyed sheep or that you got from a sheep and dyed. Um, and the wool has to be all the same color. You can't. I tried mixing the colors thinking, ooh, maybe I could get a neat pattern that way. But no, that doesn't work. We don't seem to have sticks here, so I guess we just make one. Try well, you don't need to. You can, though. So all you have to do is press E for everything. Uh, oh, because we're in, uh, yeah, in yeah, yeah. Okay. You're in creative. Uh, Okay. And then just click the little compass and type in sticks or stick and mm -hmm. grab what you need and and try making a banner. And over Dark. here, thank you, Dark. Dark has made the pattern on this brick wall. That's how you make sticks. a banner. That would make a white banner. Right. Oh, I'm in survival. Who's in survival? I am. Oh, no. <laughs> you shouldn't be. I'll change it. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Are you sure? Thank okay. You. I'm, I'm, uh, Thank you for the loom. I'm I still... made you creative. You made me Click creative. one of the other tabs. If you're in the survival inventory tab, you may just need to click one of the other tabs. Oh, okay. Like the search items. Search items, okay. I, I, the compass. I, the compass, yeah, okay. All right. Yes. Oh. So do you see a whole bunch of blocks available now? Sticks. I don't see sticks. I, it's not. It doesn't no, look but right. you can. I don't have if a. When you type in, go ahead, Jess. Maybe. I was going to say, if you oh. click search and start to type in sticks, it'll appear. Uh, okay. Actually, um, it, I guess it was a lag because it. Uh, oh, but it, oh, it's giving me sticks, but it's telling me I don't have enough stuff to create it. So, um, yeah, there's a. Oh, you must be in the crafting table. I am on the crafting you must table. Okay, escape out of that. I escape out of okay. And Turn just... your back to the table so that your crosshair is not anywhere near the table. Okay. Like, point it to the sky and then hit E. And then hit E. The letter E. e. Ah! <laughs> Yay! Ah, I never play in this mode. Okay. There you go. And now there should be a search button here somewhere. Top right, compass. Top right. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Sticks. 
Sticks, okay. Sticks. Okay. As I, you start typing it, it should uh -huh. appear. Yes, I got some sticks. Okay, so what I need to do now is put them down in my... Uh, and if you hold down the shift key, uh -huh. when you drag it down to your hot bar, uh -huh. You'll get 64 of them. Oh, okay. Then you'll have plenty. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I got 64 of them. Okay, now I've got it. So now I need wool. <laughs> yeah, when you type in wool, you're going to see all 16 colors. You can okay. Use whatever you like. And wh do I choose a particular color? Or? Whatever color you want. Okay. Day, are you making the banner too? Uh, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> He's just listening. While we're, while we're uh, making a banner, I, I've been thinking about how this could be used for students. Um, you know, they could, they could make a banner that represents themselves. They could um, make a banner that represents the book they're reading or a character or a um, a time in history or you know some creative thing that makes them um, I can't think of the word put everything together that they've learned and come up with one idea that sort of represents something okay I'm gonna go to my third slide uh, the loom so um, in creative you can just find the loom and put it down which I've already done for you but if you need to make a loom in, say, in survival for a villager, you want to have a villager that can use it, it just takes um, two planks and two strings. So the, it you know, only takes the four um, spaces, and you get a loom, and the loom is the baby. On that slide, you can see what the loom looks like when you right-click it. There are three sections. Um, on the left, there's a place to put your plain banner, the die that you need, and a charge. We'll talk about the charge later. Then there may be options in the middle, which we'll look at in a minute. And then your banner, it shows you what your, on the far right, what your banner is going to look like in the one window. And then at the bottom window, you can take your banner out. So we're going to start with a banner, a plain banner, and some dye, and we're going to look at the choices. If you look at the fourth slide, it shows you some of the 34 choices available. Oh, we're in slides. We're, uh, putting a, we're putting a banner, putting a pattern on your banner. So, all you need to do is go up to your chest and right-click it and pick one of a color that you like. I'm just going to use a white banner. Okay, so I missed a few slides. I didn't realize you were in the slideshow. So for the recording, we're okay. doing making banners in Minecraft. And you told us we put a stick at the bottom and two rows of wool at the top. And then we're in the loom now, or we were talking about the banner. loom. Okay, and so, uh, okay, basically, what do we do in the loom? Slide three? So in the loom, the, the one thing shows you how to make one. Mm -hmm. But when you look at that little picture in the bottom right, uh -huh. the left-hand side of the loom is going to show you where the raw materials go. The middle window is going to show you options. Mm -hmm. The part on the right is going to show you a preview of what your banner will look like. And then your banner will be available in that little square box in the bottom right. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm on slide three, so I think you were talking about slide four. Is that right? Well, I was just describing slide three. Oh, okay, that's fine. So, so now, and we have looms here, so we don't have to make one. This is just how you make you a loom. Don't have to make one. Okay. Well, how you make it, and then what it looks like inside. Mm -hmm. Then the next slide uh -huh. is a loom in practice. I'm going to do this now. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to Minecraft. Uh huh. Okay. And I'm going to right-click my chest to pull out a plain banner. So I have a white banner. And I'm uh -huh. also going to choose a color. The okay. dyes are little blobs of things. I'm going to choose a color that I like. Okay, and we have banner. Uh, we have, I don't have a. We have banner patterns, and we have uh, dyes, and we have 
lots of other banners. So, but yeah, we don't I have white ones. I just want one. you to get one banner. Uh huh. Okay. And one die. One banner and one die. Okay. All right. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now go over to your loom and mm -hmm. right click the loom. Mm hmm. Okay. And we're going to put plain banner mm -hmm. on the left. Plain banner. Now, if you, on have the a, left. Uh -huh. if you have a stack of banners, all you have to do is right click to place only one there. Uh huh. So on and the left, the where it says loom. Uh, oh, I see. Where it says loom. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. And then with your die, you're going to put it where that little artist palette, palette. Yeah. symbol is. Okay. Uh huh. Right click to drop one die uh, in there, and okay. immediately you can see these patterns come up. Right. And you can scroll, and there are 34 of them. Hmm. Yeah, you can click them and get a preview for what it's going to look like. Mm-hmm. But if you take the banner out of that little square window, it's stuck now. It's gonna, that's what it's going to look oh, like. Oh, okay. Okay, so, uh -huh. so look at that and decide on one that you like. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. I got it. And once you have one you think you like, take it out of there mm -hmm. and put it in your action bar. In your action bar, okay. All right. And then you can place it down. So here's mine. Where do you when you place I it did down? What do you mean? Place it just, just oh, click oh. the floor. Click the floor, okay. Uh -huh. Right, and then it'll, yeah, it'll right give click. it a stick. Okay. He mm -hmm. did a gradient too. Mm -hmm. How did he do the gradient? Ooh, it was one of the one choices. Of it was down toward Which the one? bottom. Okay, I gotta figure that out. So I made mine purple on white. I want to see what happens if I make white on purple. So, so now I just want you to experiment with these patterns for a few minutes. So actually, this oh, should be over one. here. Oh, okay. Oh, I love the gradient. Uh huh. That is neat. The purple gradient is nice too. It looks like you can ride on it a little bit easier, more easily. Anyway. Oh, they already have both gradients. So it does the gradient, like if you put a, pick a blue color and then change to yellow, and pick gradient. It's blue at the top, and then, then it bleeds into the yellow. But if, if you look in the next row, you can do the gradient going either direction. Ah. ah. <gasps> oh, I see that now. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I thought Oops. maybe you had to change like the background and the foreground, mm -hmm. but you can actually do it either way. Guys, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna log. I'm wasted from work day to day. Uh, have okay. fun with your banners. All right. All right. Okay. Well, you can you can see the recording because we're recording this. This is a okay. Vance Stevens yeah, here send it in to Penang me an recording this morning here in Penang. So I got all day. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, I like the one I just made, sorta. This, oh. this doesn't have a lot of relevance for Dave's job, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Mm -hmm. so. Uh, tired over pretty quickly. I just okay. realized what I should have done to make the flower like yours. Okay, don't jump ahead of us. Okay, I won't. All right. So now I'm going to go back to my. I, I want you to play with that for a few minutes before we do the next thing. There's so many choices. That's putting pattern. Uh, are we. Pl by play with so it. So we're play with it. Make more banners. Try different colors. Oh, try different okay. patterns. Okay. Um, and, and we can fill this place up with banners. And you're talk. We're going to do layering patterns on banners next, or after yeah, that after we've made some um, uh -huh. some banner templates. Okay. As long as I've got a moment here, okay. So I was uh, saying what we're doing here because I'm making a recording, 
for Learning Together. I guess this would be Learning Together episode number 485. And it's uh, where you guys are. It's the 24th of August, 2020. And for me, it's the 25th. It's Minecraft Tuesday. You guys are in <laughs> Minecraft Monday. I love that. Yeah. It's a big world, you know. And we got to be inclusive. We've got a new election coming yes. up. Okay. So, um, yeah, all right. So anyway, that's what we're doing. And I always uh, like to tell people the date when I make recordings and wh who we are and where we are and all that sort of thing. So you guys are in VESTI. What does VESTI stand for? Virginia? It's Virginia Society for Technology and Education. Uh -huh. It's an organization that started in the 80s, the moment that the PC hit the classroom to help teachers figure out what in the world to do with them. Mm -hmm. Wow, so you've been going since the 80s in VISTI. Actually, yeah, you know something? Than... I've been doing, the, I've been going, to, is, uh, at that time, I joined VISTI. I w you guys, I remember VISTI now. I used to have a little newsletter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We still do. Uh -huh. VISTI remains, VISTI.org uh -huh. remains free to join, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, it's nice to have a professional organization that doesn't have dues. And for 30 some years, they had face to face conferences either in uh, Roanoke, Virginia, or in Virginia Beach, Virginia. And I think at least once they, or twice they tried some other areas of Virginia to meet. It's the Virginia affiliate of IST, the International Society for Technology and Education. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I think this year they might do something virtual, but they, their face to face conference is so much fun and so. Yeah. Well, gosh, that's that's interesting. You know, I, I, don't, I hadn't actually made that connection. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, you you got confused a couple of times about this being about Maine, the state of Maine. Ah, uh, well, it's because, but that's because it's mainly Serena, time. Mm -hmm. Serena um, is a big part of us, and she's a third grade teacher in Maine, or she was. Okay, so let's go on to the next. Um, thing. The, the interesting thing about these patterns, if you see this um, like um, American flag that I made, is that you can layer these patterns on your flag up to six layers. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> like this, the, the American flag that I did, some of these other ones that you see, um, they were just made by layering the patterns and using different colors of dye. So, let me, let me just look at my slides and make sure that I didn't leave anything out of that discussion. So you can add up to six pattern layers. The layers are loaded top to bottom, making the last thing you added covering what's underneath. So if you want to have a gradient, for instance, you want to do that first because that's going to be the background. Uh, I have not found a way to remove layers in this edition of Minecraft. There are some some versions or maybe earlier versions where you could like put them in water and the water would take off the mask then you go on. So right. let's try playing with banner banner patterns for a few minutes and see what you can make. Maybe you can make your country's flag. Maybe you could make your the initial of your Minecraft miner's first name. You know, see what you can See what you can make, and let's share. So, uh, how do you how do you make those patterns? I, I don't quite understand. What's, okay. what's the tool you All use? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I'm glad you asked. So, hmm. first, you're going to get the banner of your choice. I'm going to start with the green one. Mm -hmm. And you want to get two or three dye colors this time. Okay. Okay. And you're going to your, go to the loom and put your banner in the loom and um, think about what you'd want on your on your banner I'm going to put dye and then I'm going to look at the, um, my choices and I think I'm going to start with um, this there's, there's one in the one, two, three, four fifth row, there's one that looks like snow at the bottom or snow at the top. What is it called? It actually has a name. Not sure what it's called. 
Does but it... I'm going to put that. Oh, it's called White Chief Indented. So I'm going to, I put that on my banner, and now I'm going to take the banner out and show it to you. Here it is. I'll stand on my throne. I just took green, and I put that white at the top. But now I'm going to put that same banner back in my loom. So we should with go the white dye, and I'm going to put the um, the one at the bottom. That's called white base indent. Take it out. So now my banner looks like this. I put two packs. When you say it looks like this, is this something we can see? I'm holding it up. <laughs> okay. It's sort of um, uh -huh. red there. You're right. I got you. See? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the green banner. Mm -hmm. I put the white at the top, then I mm -hmm. put it back in the loop. On uh, top of that, I put the... Okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, I can put up to four more things on my oh, okay. banner. So I'm going to put the same banner back in the loom. Uh-huh. Let's see, what will I do this time? So you put the banner back in the loom that you just created, and then you yes. play around with that. I okay. put yellow, and I did this thing. I'll come in front of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's see. I'll just pull this. So now I have three patterns. So you just keep layering them and see what you can make. And okay. some come out prettier than others. Yeah, some of them are hideous, but <laughs> it helps to have a plan just like anything else. Oh, and I noticed Dark is wearing his banner on his head. <laughs> oh, let me see where he is. Darn. I keep losing the banner that I made previously. That you made? Oops. Yeah. I took it off. Hold up. Yeah. You have to Black remember after you make a band there. to put then it take it out of the Yeah, I thought I did. The loom I've and put it down in your inventory. Like yeah. on your hot figured bar. out how to make a smiley face. Yeah, that was the first banner I ever made. And I liked it so much that it became my official banner of things. Oh, that's cool. Washing uh washing banner patterns off in cauldrons does work. But in creative mode, instead of washing it off, it gives you a copy of the banner with one less pattern. Oh, I tried it. So in survival it. mode. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing anything because it's giving you a copy of the banner. But in survival mode, it wouldn't give you a copy. It would just one wash one layer off. Okay. So it is working. Okay. I put a cal cauldron out and tried it. And just, okay. I didn't. All right. Yeah, it, it does work. I, I didn't think it was working either. But it instead, in, because it's creative, you get a copy. All right, I'm gonna see what other damage I can do. I see what, what I'm doing when I put the banner back. Oh, I see when I yeah when I put the banner back in the loom. That's what that's where it disappears. So I can run it through two processes, but I can't have the original. That's the exactly. right. You replace the original with the yes, new banner. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh, okay. But in creative mode, if you wanted the original, you could always then go back and and uh, run it through a cauldron. Yeah. And you'd get two copies. Mm -hmm. So I want to try that. So I can put a cauldron out with water in it and then take one of right. my banners and try running it back through. Right click on it right. and you'll get the current version minus one pattern added to your inventory. Ah, okay. And once you've got six patterns on it, when you try to do another pattern, it, it will not react. Hmm. I take it I need a bucket of water to fill the cauldron. Let's see. You also, because it's creative, you can just place them down and make as many as you want. Yeah, I kind of got carried away over here. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. I've got banners all over here. I also think in creative mode you may not be limited to six patterns, but I haven't played with that. Well, I can't. Just a suspect. I have not been able to Sorry. make it do more than six. Now that banner. I know, I know with commands you can f make a banner with many, many patterns, but then your super advanced commands 
Well, and we need a we need a meeting about commands someday. But it has to be Oh goodness. It has to be a very start at the beginning, go slow, don't try to step by step. Kind of kind of thing. How many of us okay. are there here? There's dark There are four of us here now. Okay. So dark and jazz plus the two foot plus Kim and uh, A four. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. And teacher. All right. So, so how has everybody had time to play with that a little bit? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, has now I put a link in the last page of the slideshow for people to look at later. If you decide you want to try to make the first letter of your name, like I made my K here, somebody has figured out the directions for doing that. In case anybody can't figure this out. But it's kind of fun. Vance, uh, well, T wouldn't be too hard, I don't think. But, but if you want to do T D, mm -hmm. that D, um, I have a D in my real life name, and I found that to be difficult. But then that mm. that slideshow helped me. Mm. All right. Okay. There's one more thing. I'm gonna go back to my slideshow. There are special patterns in this version of Minecraft, there are only six that you can use. There's also another one that pillagers have that they use, but you don't have access to that. Um, they're called charges that you can add to your banner from a creeper head, a golden apple, a wither skeleton skull, bricks, which we don't really need because there's a pattern for bricks, vines, and the moon daisy. Ooh, I gotta try the vines. You can make these patterns by gra getting those things, which some of those things are hard to come by in survival, like a creeper head, I think, is hard to come by. Yeah, to get a, a player head normally, you have to have a charged creeper blow up another monster to get that head. It's super hard to yeah. do normally. Yeah. Um, golden apple, you can get. I, how hard is it to get a wither skeleton? I don't even know what a wither skeleton is. Uh, you just kill the wither skeletons. That's how you build a wither. So those are the easier of the of the bunch. Okay. And okay, and a moon daisy. I don't know how common they are, but when I first was doing patterns, I went looking for one, and I couldn't find one. I had to give myself one. So maybe I just wasn't in the right place. But all it takes is a piece of paper and the object that makes the charge. Um, you put them in your crafting table, and you get the pattern. The other way to get the patterns is to trade with your villager. Um, I believe it's the um, cartographer that gave me a banner, a charge called World. And what it actually makes is a cube with like shapes on it. It's, it's not a globe, it's called globe. But. Let's try, let's try using some of these in Minecraft. I put them all in your storage chest. In your storage chest. Okay. So you can grab them out. So you get, again, you need a blank banner. When you say these, what do you mean? They look like scrolls, paper scrolls. Paper scrolls. Are you talking in about the uh, banner patterns? Oh, okay. One called flower charge, mm -hmm. one called thing charge. Okay. Okay. I need a banner mm -hmm. and a pattern mm -hmm. and some dye. And some dye, okay. And now you can the loom where you put the charge down at the bottom. The charge. The charge is the pattern. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So the charge is about yes okay actually I've been playing with that already just messing around. Well, you're an exceptional student. <laughs> uh, Yay. Some people, yes okay. I guess that's one way to put it. <laughs> that's a polite way to put it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, all right. So, that's a nice um, encouraging you thing have, to say. You guys have, you know, so this is this is the one that's globe. This square thing. It's a cube. It looks like it has I, cow spots on it. I tried doing the cauldron thing and it didn't work. 
Okay. But that's for another day. It it copies it, so you need to have space in your inventory, and you need to have, and then you end up with a copy, okay. which has one pattern less. Oh. oh. Okay. Let me try that. Let me get rid of this one to see if that's what. Ha yeah. Hence why I have four of them now. That's why. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that's what was happening to me. I had added a bad thing to my my good banner. And then when I erased the bad thing, it just kept adding one to my good banner, and I didn't even notice. Yeah, I didn't either, because I already had a copy of that out anyway. That's funny. Ooh, I like that one, Vance, with the white, the red on the white. I'm an exceptional yeah. student. Yes, you are. You are. So, you can now add those patterns to the other patterns and use your 16 colors and whatever color banner you want to make all sorts of things. It's it's almost limitless. Somebody do the math. Um, but I, <laughs> I did this this banner. Here we go. I'll hold this up. What if I can put it on my head? Is that only a creative thing? Slash had it. Uh, yeah, it's not in vanilla normally, but if you had it, it'll work. Okay, so now I'm wearing this on my head. I'll go up on my throne. <laughs> um, all right. Adorable. So this this has six patterns on it. That's I very think. exceptional. Um, but I use the flower, I use the dot, I use the frame, I use gradient. I don't remember all all of the ones that I use. But um, so the challenge now would be for you to come up with um, create a logo for your Minecraft home or make something to scare the mobs away from your local village or whatever you would like to do let's see if you can incorporate some of the patterns with one of the charges i wonder if you can add two charges together um Dark, Ooh, I'll you, try. Know how to make a smiley face. you can i'm gonna try that if you look at my seventh slide i just grabbed um pictures of nine that i thought were interesting from the internet that it's not completely obvious to me how they did them but you've got to remember when you put down the pattern the one that you put first is going to be the farthest back layer there are uh, there are entire websites devoted to um, developing banners and i actually wrote some software that would allow you to uh, figure out your own banner i really should revive that yeah. i like banners i forgot yeah i got a creeper skeleton banner See, I think, and I, I do think that this could be a, an interesting creative assignment, an alternative assignment to maybe something else kids might do. Um, there you could tie it into flags and nationality and, and other things. You could. It could Identification. Be studies. It could be language art. They've read a book. Instead of doing a same old book report they've done before, have them make a banner for the main character and then explain the parts and why. Why, it represents, colors, right. why that shape was representative of that character. Hmm, that's so neat. We always want to tie things back to um, how we could use them in sports kids. So or I would just love how we can have fun ourselves. How about that? Oh, of course. And we do <laughs> have fun. We do <laughs> have fun, but um, oh, gotcha. yeah, I, just, I just always want to try to tie it into teaching and learning a little bit. Of course. I was I've made a mess of banners over here. <laughs> but a sea fish. To be to be <laughs> quite serious, I think it's important for teachers to have fun playing with these tools in order to see how they can use them with students. So yes. that's yes. not a step we can leave out. True, and that, that really is our whole purpose of having like Monday and running this yeah. server. Having the server to begin with. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had, in the last week or two, I've had four or five people ask to be whitelisted who are middle or high school students from elsewhere in the world. And finally, I asked one of them, where did you get this link? They had my name and my email address and everything. And he pointed me to... Um, an article, a, a blog post or something on Vizzy.org 
and you know, I explained to each one who wrote, I'm sure you're a very nice person, but you need to be an adult and you need to be affiliated with education in some way to be part of our server. It just, that's our purpose. Mm -hmm. um, interesting. That you could send them, well, no. Searching for servers to join and yeah. so many of them. Yeah, I suppose they could they could come to EVO Minecraft MOOC, uh, but we're actually trying to avoid gamers, you know, people who are, are potentially grifters, I suppose, you know, so. Well, and yeah, and, and a, a couple of them specifically mentioned, do you have to be a YouTuber to be on this server? And I said, that's not what we're about at all. We're mm -hmm. about helping teachers become comfortable enough with Minecraft that they feel like they can use it with their students. Or at least talk to them about it because kids love to talk. We have people fill in a form. We try to um, weed out the. We do have a lot of kids on our server, but they tend to be children of uh, of our okay, parent, of parents. Yeah, 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 that's right. So we have we, we've we've got several uh, parent-child um, teams. In fact, one of them now has two children. That, uh, so that's a three-person team, and of course there's Bobby and Vance. Uh, I'll give you, a, I don't know which one's the child, but anyway, people have different opinions. But um, <laughs> anyway, uh, so, you know, it's, uh, playing with kids is really kind of, adds a nice dimension to it. The kids are so creative and off the wall, I should say. But one of them did, um, he made a game. Um, and we recorded it. It was quite elaborate. Uh, you had to, let me see, what was the point of the game? Oh, you had to, God, something about slaying sheep. We, we went from one level to another and uh, sheep of different colors. We had to, oh, we had to shear uh, so many sheep. The, the person who got uh, more of certain color uh, won the game and got so many points and we went from one level to another where he he developed these different pins very elaborate holding all these sheep and we all, we went from pin to pin and sheared as many as we could and uh, then at the end he had a little ceremony and it was all we got a recording of it which I could easily put the link in discord if you like but anyway it's a good example oh, of, yeah. of, of children working with adult mentors and um, yeah, so it was very creative. I'll, I'll make sure I, I find the link for you and put it in Discord. Now, if you um, if you look at me, mm -hmm. I have a shield made from a banner. Wow! Okay, that, that's so cool. That's very easy to do. You okay. simply get a shield or make a shield. Mm -hmm. A shield is. I can't remember how to make a shield. It's one iron block or bar mm -hmm. and six um, wood planks. Okay. And the iron bar goes in the top center. And the reason I know it is because I had to look it up today to make the one I'm carrying. <laughs> okay. One iron so you get a bar. Okay. So we can we can show it up here. See, I need to get... Or if you just open your inventory and type S H I, uh, the shield is there, <laughs> and you can get a ready-made one. Okay. I put, I so put this H I got a fishing bar, rod. Okay. And then planks, you said? Yes, it's um, on the top row. It goes planks, iron bar, planks, and the middle is all planks, and then. I think bottom center, if I remember correctly. Okay, so did that work? Plank, plank. I'm doing it up here on the wall so we can see it. Plank, bar, plank, and then is it all the way around like this? Uh, no. You come look. Okay, I've got a shield. I think so. Let's see now. You can use your slides to figure out the rest. Once you've got a shield. Yes, it's planks, bar, planks. Oh. Then a row of 
planks, three planks, and one in the bottom center. Oh, okay. I've got too many. So the bottom. You're trying to make a shield. Yes. Yes. The bottom right and left are empty. You got it. So okay. just like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then you put um, in the crafting table. Now you put your shield. Hmm. And right beside it, you put your banner. It uses up the banner, though. Oh, no. Ooh, that didn't turn out that well. The hmm. pattern shrinks when applied to a shield. Right. When I tried to apply my face to the shield, it disappeared entirely. It was disappointing. Yeah, and it took my flower and made it kind of funky looking. <laughs> See, my uh, my pattern has a flower in it as part of the pattern, and that's probably why it doesn't work on a shield. On the crafting table, you lay the shield and you lay your banner, and it comes up with a. Uh, right, yeah, I with the. Okay. So and here's my shield that looks like a little bit like the American. But when okay. you place them in your crafting table, it's in the middle row, and I believe the first square in the middle row is where you put the shield. And dead center is where you put the banner. Right, and to the to the left of center, you put the shield. I think I right. think it's shapeless. I think it's just shield banner, and position doesn't matter. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think oh. you can put them in there, as long as they're in there together. But yeah, I mean, if you look at if you look at the uh, pattern on my head versus the same pattern applied to my shield, uh, you can see that they do not match. Now for us, yeah, uh, no, it's, I, it's much more pixelated. I, I kind of know how to make a shield, but I don't really. So I mean, how to put the shield in my hand? How do I put the shield in my hand? Just put um, it in your action bar at the very bottom, the hot bar, some people call it, uh -huh. and then and then roll over it with your mouse. Okay, hang on a minute. Let's see. Uh, where is that shield? Here's the so, shield. Okay, roll over it with my mouse. Well, okay, it's in the action yeah. bar now. Okay. There you go. Yep, good, you got it. Uh, okay. Could we take a group picture with us holding our shields? Maybe sure. over here. I have in double shields. Of, I need front to draw one. Yay. And if you want your shield in your left beautiful. hand, if you want to move it to your left hand, you place the, place the letter F, and it switches hands. Ooh, mm. I have two now. I have two, too. So F. who made these banners over here? Okay, I it. did. Hmm, oh, nice. Those are great. Okay. I got carried away. <laughs> those are great. I love your. Yeah, it's easy to I do. I love your pyramid or whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, so let's. I'm set over a pyramid. So let's get together. Okay. Can we get kind of side by side? I'm going um, to. I think if we move a loom over, can I get rid of a loom? Sure. Or something. I mean, because just destroy it. Yeah. Wait, can dark fit in here? Yeah. Because we have yeah, to be good. showing our shields. Oh, my shield's not showing for some reason. Well, yeah. How do you? Uh, right, right click. Right click. Oh. Right click to, to wield it, your shield. Oh, okay. Right click to right wield the shield. Hold. Yeah, I've got to. Uh, take right sure. click. Yep. Right click. Right click. Okay. Oh. Uh, hold it down. It. My right click did not. Got it. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. This was great. Mm -hmm. Oh, too bad. It's fun. I missed it, but yeah, you, you didn't miss it. Nowhere. It's here. You can also come over to this spot. You guys have to leave all these up. They're so cool. We'll just leave them here so people can see them and they wander over. Oh, nice. Okay. I'll put my shield in there. Thank you so much for coming, everybody. It was fun. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. This has been the Visti Minecraft Mondays or Minecraft Tuesday Minecraft. mornings for some people. And it's uh, the 25th of August, 2020. And all these wonderful people have been showing us how to make banners and turn the banners into shields. I think it's so cool. Wow. All you have to do in, in survival now is cobble together a loom somewhere. <laughs> or find one in a village. Ah, there you go. Okay. That's find it. the shepherd in a village and use his loom. Ah, okay. Cool. All right. Banners also make great window shutters. 
Oh mm -hmm. yes, they do make great curtains too. I need to go hang some in my house. Hmm. My Minecraft house. Okay. Well, thank you very much for having us all together as usual and uh, oh, you get all kinds of tips by attending these sessions and I've always wanted to record them so there, there, there are a couple I really enjoyed and wished I'd had recordings of sometimes I blog them but take screenshots but in this one I'll, I'll make a blog post at learningtogether.net and I will uh, put the video there oh thank you yeah thank you Okay, maybe see you for the next one. Bye, Dad. Okay, bye bye. Okay, I'm gonna switch off the recording if I can figure that out. Oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye bye. Going once, bye. twice, so old. Right.